This is Jeff with Jeffrey Q Productions, and I wanted to show off a uh, placeholder mounting job for Kingdom Death Monsters. So this is the Butcher right here. I've Zenithal, I've Zenithal primed him, and I do not want to permanently mount him with plastic cement quite yet, which is also why I have not um, mounted his cape onto him. But what I want to do is I want to mount him on a 50 millimeter base tonight so I can play against him because he's going to come up in my campaign here. So what I've done is I've gotten some Loctite. I got a whole bunch of rocks from my front yard. I've washed them with soap and water and I've let them dry. And I've got a whole bunch of these little bits over here. These are just little Loctite bits. So what I'm going to do first is just grab one of these and I'm going to mount his cape on him. And this is all just placeholder so I can paint him later. A little bit of pressure. Alright, cape's good. So I've selected a couple rocks and I kind of, it's kind of the same principle as when you're building these guys for the first time. You want to dry fit stuff. So I just want to assemble it in a manner that's pleasing to the eye. And then I'm going to go ahead and lock tight this stuff down. So what I kind of had envisioned was uh, like a little rock platform that he was going to be standing on. And he's just going to be in the middle of this right here. So these rocks from my yard are pretty nice. They're kind of um, flat, almost shale like. Um, so I've arranged them and picked the ones out that I like. So I'm just going to start lock tightening these bad boys down. Just get a little bit of lock tight, throw that one on there. And I don't even have to move these other rocks here. I've already got them the way I want them. A little pressure. Okay. And let's do. I don't know what face was that on? All right. Like that. Okay, we'll do two on this flat surface right here. Two of the larger ones. And these Loctite bits are really, really tiny, the ones that I've torn off. Very small. Let's get one more on this right here. Okay, now I can actually show you what that looks like. Just like that. All right, and then I just want to create a flat as possible surface. I've actually got two rocks that are very similar, but you see the one on the left actually has got a little bit of um, curve on the underside, whereas this one is very flat. So I think I'm going to use this little dip right here in the middle and just fill it in right like that to get as flat as uh, flat a surface as possible for him to stand on when he's done. So I'm going to try and dry fit this again. Just right, oh that's nice right there. Just gonna put that right there. Do one over here on this side too.
Okay, let's show this off here. That one's actually not doing anything. And connected. Um, I think we're good with just two though. And press down nice and firm, everything's tight. And as you can see, that's a fairly flat surface on the top there, okay? And we're just gonna get two more for his feet. I'm going to cover as much surface area on these feet as possible. And then let's use a little bit larger one too. Now obviously these are not going to be perfect. But again this is placeholder. I just want it to look cool until I can get it painted. So this is not at all permanent. Let's throw him down here. A little bit of pressure on the top of the foot. Again, just a little bit more pressure downwards. And we're good. Let's show this off just a little bit. I think it looks all right. Going to turn that a little bit. Going to tip him back a little bit. Looks good. All right, thanks for watching. Sorry if there's a little bit of uh, blurring issues or whatever. This is a lot harder to do than it looks like. All right, peace.